Thanks for watching. We're going to calculate GKI, or glucose ketone index. I'll give you the equation to calculate your GKI in a few, but we'll go over it step by step. I'm using a 4 of 6 connect because it can measure both glucose and ketone levels in one convenient device. I've also got the Lansing device already ready, as well as my ketone and glucose test strips right here. Uh, make sure to wash your hands before you begin. You can also use an alcohol swab to clean the testing site if you'd like. So first we're going to measure your glucose levels. Okay, remove the glucose test strip from the bottle. Grab one, close it up tight so no contaminants get in. This is the front of the test strip. You'll insert it here at the top and the meter will turn on automatically. So make sure to rub at the side of the puncture to get the blood flowing. That way you'll have enough when you do prick yourself. So like I said, our Lansing device is already set. So you will just... Okay, now make sure to get rid of the first drop of blood because it's likely contaminated. So just wipe that away. And then you'll use your second for the test. Okay. Now take your meter and the strip and you'll put it at an angle in order to get the blood droplet on there. So it's taking a few seconds, and it's going to give me my result. Now we need to test ketone levels. Remove your ketone test strip from the bottle. There we go. Again, close it up tight so no contaminants get in. This is the front of the test strip. You're going to insert it at the top, and it'll turn your meter on. Now we've already reset our Lansing device. Um, make sure to rub the side of the puncture again to get the blood flowing. Try to use a different finger or a different spot so you're not sore from double punctures. So use the Lansing device. Okay, now remember, get rid of the first drop. Just wipe that off. Now we're going to hold this at an angle again. Okay, it'll give a few seconds. And I have my reading. So write that down because you're gonna need it for your GKI calculation. So now that we have both glucose and ketone levels, we can calculate GKI. Grab your calculator, divide your glucose number by 18 if you're in the US, and then divide that number by your ketone number that you got earlier. And now you have your GKI. This will provide a better picture of your overall health than a single ketone measurement.